What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to build our individual profile pages for our Twitter clone with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to build out our individual profile pages. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to build out this profile page. We're going to add the follows and followers section as well. Super quick announcement before we get started. I've been mentioning we're going to change the Codemy memberships. We've done it. We now have a monthly membership option for just $12. You get all my courses, all my future courses, just $12 a month. There's no long-term contract. You can cancel that at any time, 30-day money-back guarantee. We also now have a yearly membership for $99 a year and lifetime membership for life. One-time fee has gone up to $249. And with all of these membership levels, you get all my courses, you get all my future courses at no extra charge. They just pop up in your account. To sign up for any of these, just come down here and click on the individual one that you want. There you go, boom, $12 a month, and that's all there is to it. So, okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna do this profile page section. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Twitter clone series, so check that out if you haven't so far. So the first thing I wanna do is head over to our urls.py file, and we're gonna create profile pages, so we need a new URL here. So let's go path. And I want this URL to look like profile slash and then the ID number of the user. So to do that, we can go INT, short for integer, and just pass the primary key of the user into the URL. So, all right, that looks good there. Now we need views.profile, and we'll create that in just a second. And let's give this a name of profile. Stick our comma at the end of that. Make sure this line has a comma at the end of it as well. Okay, so that looks good. Good, now we need this profile view. So let's save this and head over to our views.py file. And let's just come down here and define a new profile. We wanna pass in the request. Now we also need to pass in that PK, that primary key, right? So that will allow us to look up the individual by their ID number. So if we go to your website slash profile slash 12, that will look up user number 12. And we need to pass that 12 right here into here so we can look up 12, right? So the first thing we need to do is make sure that the user is logged in. So let's say if request.user. is underscore authenticated, because this is gonna be a specific user, right? You want whoever's logged in to look at their profile. This isn't gonna let you look at other people's profile just yet. We can tweak it for that in a little bit, but right off the bat, I just wanna make sure that a person is logged in first. So let's create a variable called profile. And we need to now query the profile model to get that person. So here we would go profile.objects.get. And what user do we want to get? We want to get the user ID equal to that primary key that we just passed in. So we want to also make sure that profile has been added up here. Yes, we've imported it from models right there so we can access it. Okay, so now we can return render request. And let's show the page profile.html. We haven't created that yet, but we will in just a second. And we also want to pass in that profile. So we go profile, profile. There we go. That will allow us to access all this profile information with this profile variable on the page. So we also need an else here. And I'm going to copy this stuff from our last video, and we'll just throw up a little error message that says you must be logged in to view this page and redirect them back to the home page. So, okay, that looks good. Now let's create this profile.html page. So let's head over to our templates, right click and create a new file. And let's go file, save as, and save this as profile.html. And if it didn't pop up right away here, you can go up to project, refresh folders, and then boom, there it is. And now I'm just gonna go to my home.html page and copy all of this stuff and paste it in because we want to extend our base, grab our nav bar. And here, let's say profile for now. And we're going to tweak this in a second, but let's just save this and make sure everything's looking okay. And okay, so let's look through here again real quick because I feel like, ah, yeah, we need to wrap all of this in brackets. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the website and check that to make sure everything looks okay. 
So let's go to profile forward slash two. Okay, so that's good. It says you must be logged in. So let's hit our admin area and log in real quick. So now we can go to profile slash two and that one doesn't exist. Uh, flash six, okay. So we see this as profile and okay. Instead of going to profile six, let's put a link up here in the nav bar that goes straight to our specific profile. And we can do that fairly easily. Head back over here and let's go to our nav bar. And I'm just going to grab this profile list link and paste in another one. And let's just say, I don't know, my profile. And here for this URL, it's gonna be profile. But we also wanna pass the request.user.id. Now if we save this and head back over to the website and hit reload and we hover over this, you see profile one down here in the bottom is highlighted because I'm the admin and I'm the number one guy, right? My profile, my ID number is one since I'm admin. So, okay, that looks good. Now, if we log out and then go back again, we get an error. So above this link here in our nav bar, we can do a little bit of code here and say if user dot is underscore authenticated. And then here we want to end our if. Okay, so if we save this, head back over to the website and hit reload. Now we can see the home page, but that link doesn't exist, right? But if we log in again and then go back to our home page, that link does exist. So, okay, so far so good. So now let's play around with this profile page. And this is the fun stuff. Let's head back over to profile. So, so first off, I want to make sure that there is a profile, right? So if we've wandered into some weird place or added a number that doesn't exist as a user ID or whatever, let's go if profile. And here I can end my if. And here let's add in the actual profile. So that's gonna be profile.user.username. And let's put a little apostrophe S on there. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. Head back over here. Reload, and now we see admins' profile. That's not what I want. There we go. Okay, so we've got the profile. Now let's say follows and followed by. So we wanna list who you follow and who follows you back. So how do we do that? Well, we need a for loop. So let's go for, and I'm gonna call this following in, and to access who we follow, that's just profile.follows.all. And right away, I'm gonna end my four because I always forget. And if you don't remember what this profile.follows.all is, you can head over to your models.py file. And in our profile model here, we have this follows thing that we set up way back a few videos ago. And it's a many to many field and it has everything already set up and ready to go. So we could put a little at sign and then the actual person by typing out following. So let's put a line break after each one, save this and let's see if this worked. So head back over here, hit reload and follows up. Oh, we got, we need a line break here too. <laughs> and let's put one right here as well while we're at it. Okay. Now admin is following April, Bob, and Wes, and that's cool. Now we can make these into links if we want just by wrapping this whole thing in an href tag. And then we need a closing tag here. And inside of here, this is just gonna be a link URL tag, and we wanna point it to profile. And this is gonna be following.user.id. So if we save this and head back over here and hit reload, these are now all links. We can click this, boom, it goes to April's profile. April is following admin and Bob. We can click on here, we go to Bob's profile. Bob is following just Wes. Very cool, and we can always go back to ours. So that's follows, pretty simple. Now how do we get the followed by? Well, head back over to our models.py file, and you'll notice here we have this related name followed by. 
And the related name definitionally is sort of the opposite of whatever this thing is. So if this thing is follows, the opposite is who's following you. And that's what the related name field does just automatically. We don't even have to do anything. All we have to do is reference this followed by name. So we can do that super easy. Head back over here and let's put a couple more line breaks here. Down here, same thing. We just need another for loop. Let's go for, and again, let's call it following. Why not? And this is going to be in profile dot followed underscore by dot all. And again, right away, I'm going to end my four because I always forget. And same thing, we can just grab all of this here and paste it in. And that should be good. So let's go ahead and save this. Head back over here, reload, admin is followed by April. April follows admin and Bob and is followed by admin and Wes. You click on Wes, bunch of people follow Wes. Wes follows April. April follows admin also. Admin is followed by April only. And that's it. Very cool, pretty simple. And we are moving right along. So if we want to kind of position this page around a little bit, we can come up here and just use some quick bootstrap here. We can create a div with a class equals container. And let's say we want text to be center here. And then let's create a div with a class equals row. And then another div with a class of, and let's call this col dash eight. We need quotation marks. And then we can put that there. And we can close that div. There we go. And if we want then another div with a class of col dash four, we can have all of this stuff inside of it. Sort of tab this stuff over a little bit if you want. And then let's close that div. And let's close the row div and the class div. All right, let's go ahead and save this, see what that looks like very quickly, just using some bootstrap. Okay, so we've got things over here and over here. We could put this stuff in a card if we want. Let's head over to getbootstrap.com, click on docs, come down here till you find card. There you go. And then just sort of find the card that you want. I think this one is good. So we could just go ahead and copy this super quick head back over here. And inside of our call four, we'll paste that. Let me just save this and refresh this to see if that's what I like. Yeah, that looks good. So now we could just come up here instead of featured, let's say follows something like that. And then for this, we can get rid of that. And also this button. And inside of our card text, we'll just paste all of this for loop stuff. There we go. So let's go ahead and save this back over here and reload. Okay, so that looks good. And then we just do the same thing for followed by. So again, I'm just going to come over here to get bootstrap, click this copy stuff, head back over here. Scroll down here. And this is going to be followed by and we get rid of the title, get rid of the button. Modify the P tag here to put all of this stuff in. Paste it. Kind of sloppy, <laughs> but head back over here, hit reload. All right. We are moving right along. So then underneath here, underneath this, where it says Bob's profile, this is where we're going to put our tweets, our meeps. Uh, obviously, we've got some work to do before we can do that, but eh, pretty simple to make this look pretty good pretty quickly. Now we can also come back here to the profile list page and make these clickable if we want. So let's just head back over to our profile list page. There it is. And then just come down here to the at sign here and give an a href tag and close our a tag. And again, this is just going to be a little Django 
URL tag. And we want to point it to profile and pass in that profile.user.id. So go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit reload, boom, there we go. We click on Bob, go to Bob, click on Wes, goes to Wes. Very cool. Wes follows himself apparently, and April. April follows admin. All right, very cool. So we are moving right along. Now we just need to start working on the tweets, the meeps, and we'll probably start to do that in the next video. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students, learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.